In this tutorial, we're looking at Fire, the CM compressor from Acoustica Audio. Fire is a one knob plugin processor and the interface is dominated by a large threshold control. If you load up the plugin and simply tweak this control, you will probably get some compression, but the processing is fine tuned using further controls around the perimeter of the interface. The main compression controls are time and ratio. The time slider on the left is a multi-parameter control that influences attack and release times and also attack behavior. The ratio slider on the right adjusts the compression ratio with smooth adjustment from 1.5 to 1 to limiting. You also have input and output sliders at the top and bottom of the interface respectively. Meanwhile, in the bottom corners, you'll find two options, the preamp emulation on or off setting and a high pass filter, 0, 100 Hertz and 250 Hertz settings. The input control is before both the threshold and preamp, so input level adjustments influence both of these. The plugin includes a couple of further options. In the top right, you'll see a small OVS icon and this accesses the oversampling. By default, this is times one, but you have four further options, two, four, eight, and 16 times. Finally, in the top left, the size parameter provides three options for the window, times one, times 1.5 and times two. When you first load an instance of Fire, you'll find you have a choice of two plugins. One of these, which is labeled ZL, is a zero latency version designed primarily for use when recording. The two plugin versions sound the same, but we will use the regular version as it is more CPU efficient. Compression is great for shaping beats and Fire is the perfect tool. Let's start with a basic snare. In its raw form, this sounds quite lame and lifeless. Starting from the default settings, we've set the compression ratio to six to one and the threshold at about minus 40 dB. This adds some compression, but the fun begins when we adjust the time setting. Gradually moving towards the fastest setting adds energy, bringing up the tail of the sound, and we're adjusting the output level to taste. If we go too far, the snare transient suffers. But with reasonably fast time setting, the snare sounds much better. Fire the CM compressor has a lovely creamy response reminiscent of some of the best vintage compressors. This is suited to traditional drum kit processing tasks such as overheads and room mics. Here we started with the overheads, setting the ratio at about four to one and time at medium fast for a more punchy outcome. You can try similar initial settings for drum kit room mics, adjusting the threshold and input as required. Focus on tailoring the sound using the sidechain low cut filter, the preamp saturation, and in particular the time parameter, focusing on the settings close to its fastest position. This really brings out the flavor of the room. <laughs> 